Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and I'm reading John 7 of the King James Version Bible and it reads, After these things Jesus walked in Galilee, for he walked not, for he would not walk in Jewry, because the Jews sought to kill him. Now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. His brethren therefore said unto him, Depart hence and go into Judea, that thy disciples also may see the works that thou doest. For there is no man that doeth anything in secret, and he himself seeketh to be known openly. If thou do these things, shew thyself to the world. For neither did his brethren believe in him. Then Jesus said unto them, My time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it, that the works thereof are evil. Go ye up unto this feast. I go not up yet unto this feast, for my time is not yet full come. When he had said these words unto them, he abode still in Galilee. But when his brethren were gone up, then went he also up unto the feast, not openly, but as it were, in secret. Then the Jews sought him at the feast, and said, Where is he? And there was much murmuring among the people concerning him, for some said, He is a good man, others said, Nay, but he deceiveth the people. Howbeit no man speak openly of him, for fear of the Jews. No, about the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught. And the Jews marveled, saying, How knoweth this man let us, having never learned? Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God, or whether I speak of myself. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory, but he that seeketh his glory that sent him the same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Did not Moses give you the law, and yet none of you keepeth the law? Why go ye about to kill me? The people answered and said, Thou hast the devil, who goeth about to kill thee? Jesus answered and said unto them, I have done one work, and ye all marvel. Moses therefore came unto you, circumcision, not because it is of Moses, but of the fathers, and ye on the Sabbath day circumcise a man. If a man on the Sabbath day receives circumcision, that the law of Moses should not be broken, are ye angry at me because I have made a man every whit whole on the Sabbath day? Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Then said some of them of Jerusalem, Is not this he whom they seek to kill? But lo, he speaketh boldly, and they say nothing unto him. Do the rulers know indeed that this is the very Christ? Howbeit we know this man whence he is, but when Christ cometh, no man knoweth whence he is. Then cried Jesus in the temple as he taught, saying, Ye both know me, and ye know whence I am, and I am not come of myself, but he that sent me is true, whom ye know not. But I know him, for I am from him, and he hath sent me. Then they sought to take him, but no man laid hands on him, because his hour was not yet come. And many of the people believed on him and said, when Christ cometh, will he do more miracles than these which this man hath done? The Pharisees heard that the people murmured such things concerning him, and the Pharisees and the chief priests sent officers to take him. Then said Jesus unto them, Yet a little while am I with you, and then I go unto him that sent me. Ye shall seek me, and shall not find me, and where I am, thither ye cannot come. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither he will go, whither will he go, that we shall not find him? 
will he go on to the disperse among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? What manner of saying is this that he said, Ye shall seek me, and shall not find me, and where I am, thither ye cannot come. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believed on him should receive, for the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because the because that Jesus was not yet glorified. Many of the people, therefore, when they heard the saying, said, Of a truth, this is the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But some said, Shall Christ come out of Galilee? Hath not the scripture said that Christ cometh of the seed of David and out of the town of Bethlehem where David was? So there was a division among the people because of him, and some of them would have taken him, but no man laid hands on him. Then came the officers to the chief priests and Pharisees, and they said unto them, Why have ye not brought him? The officers answered, Never man speak like this man. Then answered them the Pharisees, Are ye also deceived? Have any of the rulers or of the Pharisees believed on him? But this people who knoweth not the law, are cursed. Nicodemus saith unto them, He that came to Jesus by night, being one of them, doth our law judge any man before it hear him, and know what he doeth? They answered and said unto him, Art thou also of Galilee? Search and look, for out of Galilee ariseth no prophet. And every man went unto his own house. Alright guys, so in this chapter we see where it is that people are basically divided in their thoughts of who Jesus actually is. And if, we, if you recall in the scriptures it said that Jesus had said that he came to cause division. Not because he wants to stir up strife in people, but because some will know him and some will not know him some will want to seek him and others will not want to seek him and because of that there will be division not division because of war but division because of difference in beliefs and this is a division that we can actually actually um adhere to this is a division that we can actually be okay with because this is something that concerns God and we want to please God and if you do not want to please God then you obviously want to please the devil and if you want to please the devil like the scriptures say you have to choose who you will serve right so back to the scripture in the scripture we see where there's a division in thoughts of who Jesus is and very importantly the most important thing in this is that even though they wanted to kill Jesus even though they wanted to take Jesus captive to kill him they could not touch him and Jesus continually stressed my time has not yet come so guys I want you all to just focus on that because I want you to get this if Jesus, if God says that it is not so, it is not yet time, then it is not time. When God says this is the time, then this is the time and nothing can stop it. Nothing can derail it. It will happen as he intentions it to be. All right, so have faith in God. Have faith in his process. Have faith in the plans that he has for your life. Just be patient and allow him to do what only he can do. Right? So guys, please remember to continue to walk in your salvation. And if you've not gained it, then seek it. There's no better time to begin than the present. Have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.